Hey, what's up, friend? This is Arun, and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today, I will teach you a very, very special thing for the beginners. I got so many emails. People want to know about how to make manipulation. There are so many rules of doing manipulation. So, uh, here I will use two images. Uh, I will blend this image to this cloud image. So there are so many things you have to know about it. But the starting point is here. Uh, always keep in mind if you are doing manipulation, then you should start from two images. One is background, one is foreground. So you can say this is cloud. Uh, I am using this cloud as a background. So I will drag it to here. Okay. Now uh, here my aim is to blend this background with this foreground. So always keep in mind that. Uh, if you are a beginner then you should start with two images so it will be uh, very um, useful for you to make easy manipulation in the starting period of doing manipulation if you are able to blend two images then you can add third subject like any model to it so I will teach you uh, in my up upcoming tutorials I will teach you everything so here my aim is to blend this background with this image okay now control T to transform it uh, when you do transform so always keep in mind that you should press shift so it will maintain the aspect ratio it is very mandatory if you do not press uh, shift on the keyboard then you will you can do something like this so I don't want this but in this case in this case I want a little bit of this type of transformation okay so press control zero now these are my clouds these are clouds and this is my foreground okay now place it where you want to put okay now uh, make a mask make a mask on there then go to brush then choose your very first brush it is mandatory choose this brush and uh, apply it here around the edges do not apply it like this this is the wrong way right control Z always start from here your brush should be outside of this working area suppose this is my whole brush and I am using only one third of this brush you can see I am not uh, using my whole brush inside of my working area it is very mandatory now very carefully I am Even you can increase the size of the brush it outside now you can see very nice very smooth background I am getting control zero now you can see control Z control Z control Z okay now you can see now this is before and after one important thing I want to add I want to add some light here so what I will do I will make a new layer and set its blending mode to soft light and uh, use your soft brush reduce its size something like this I want I want to make it as fog okay now go to filter then blur then goes in blur now you can see before and after very nice okay what I will do next uh, here I'm getting the problem in the color so 
so always keep in mind that if you do this type of manipulation then you can start with the for blending of two colors you can start with the gradient map so firstly uh, i will try out this uh, very nice uh, adjustment layer this is called color lookup i will start from it here then i will try which is the best option for me to okay you can use this this is before and this is after even you can reduce the opacity like this now this is before and this is after i will try some more options for this okay this is blue shade you can use this this is orange shade you can use this there are so many options this is something like foggy night midnight scene you can use this background so it is mandatory to match the color of these two by applying this color lookup or you can use anything else like uh, uh gradient i will try okay you can before and after before and after even you can apply many brushes like this many gradients like this before and after your aim is to uh, blend the color of these two images so this is the real secret always uh, keep in mind that the use of brush is very important at least you should try about uh, 20 manipulation of this type of work you have to do so if you can blend 20 practice file print then you will be able to do manipulation as a beginner so this is my another foreground i will blend this same cloud with this foreground so drag it to here and adjust the size and what i will do i will crop it something like this i want to use this as a vertical mode now make a mask and choose your brush and this is a very important step of applying brush i will start by applying brush outside mostly my brush is outside of my working area you can see i want to work this in cloud now i'm using this from here not from like this this is wrong way so i'll always start from here now you can see very nice very nice now you can do further manipulation it is very easy so always start with two images one is foreground and one is background so now let me do some further work on it mm, i want to match the color i want something like blue shade blue tone you can say mm, okay i will try this one set its menu mode to soft light reduce the opacity now you can see before after before and after now you can do further manipulation to this or you can apply a color lookup to here like color lookup then you have so many options now this is also good this is blue shade this is also good you have so many options so in this way you can uh, blend foreground background as a beginner so i hope you got so many learning from this tutorial so thank you friends keep watching our inspiration